Yo, what is good? It is Gallo. Today, I'm going to be uh, just going step by step creating uh, either a beat or a song. I have really no idea what it's going to lead into, uh, but I've always wanted to kind of sit down and do this and literally start with like a blank canvas and show you guys step by step how I create most of the time. Let's start with seeing if we could find something on like Splice as like an idea to start. And Splice is dope. Those are more of like riffs, so um, is it, I think there's pop vocals, yeah, hold up. Oh, we're, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna take that loop that we found. All right, so um, we have to match it up to the tempo and usually it shows it. I think it says it's 89 here. Yeah, it's 89 beats per minute. It is in D. That just makes it easier when I'm looking to like add things to it, elements to it. It will be in the same key. I won't have to retune it. I kind of let them just play through just to get some ideas, melody ideas, flows and things like that. Usually a good time for a coffee break if you drink it. I feel like we can add another layer of hats over that. This one is dope. Let's see if this works. This is cool because it has like a vinyl feel to it. So now I'm looking for a kick. Looking for like a kick or a snare is probably the best part. Oh, oh. So we'll just move this over. Yeah, that's cool. This you could even get away with depending on depending on the type of snare that I use for it. I could even go four on the floor, which is just four kicks where it's like boom, clap, boom, clap. That's cool. I think this will help. I'm gonna lower that though, because I feel like it's really loud. Yeah. So this is without the layer. And then this is with it. Just has like a different energy to it. Right now I'm just moving them over. And I have them, dude. If I were to just leave this as like a four bar loop and record, it doesn't drive me to finish the song because I can't visually see the end of the song. Extend the beat to what a full song length will be and then record the demo. So, I don't know if that will help, but. Oh, yeah, so I kind of like that style, so. And then like random words will come to your head when you're like humming and things like that, so. In those situations, then I grab um, the mic and I immediately try to record. What I do, plug the headphones in, obviously. All right, cool. So we got it. So you guys can't hear it. Maybe I'll play it in the actual video. So I'm just gonna add like a little bit of reverb right now. Uh, reverb, yep. I usually go through and find one based on how much reverb I want to add to it. So I find like a certain reverb style. Like there's one called like Splendid Reverb on here that's super cool. Um, and I just kind of play around with the effects. There's not really one right way to do it. Just do it until it sounds right, so.
All right, so that, like, uh, obviously there's a lot of mess ups in that, but just fucked up the guitar. So I'm just gonna try maybe doing that same wording. Just try to make it better. That's cool. I found like this cool sound where it's like chop, like dun 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 dun. But I gotta be careful because I think I got that from um, there's a song by Shade called I S O U. I S O U. I'm so over you. Yeah, so I can't even use that. But I could do something similar because I really enjoy that song and I want to kind of use that as an inspiration. I don't want to just copy it, so. I think that's a good starting point to find a like a really catchy melody. Um, it kind of has like a pop feel to it. I think that kind of any listener would be able to, after a certain amount of time, be like, dun, 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 dun. I just got to find a way to change it, you know, to make it my own version or my own take on that. I, I definitely think that there's a lot of potential with this and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something if you're like a music creator or just a creator uh, of any kind. I hope you en enjoyed it. I'm gonna get back to working on this uh, and just be on the lookout. You know this whole quarantine thing is pinning me in my studio so I really have no excuse but to be creating things like this. So I'm gonna stop ranting and uh, finish this up. Peace.